Two minutes, or are you going to show us some moves? Break a move. Did you go first? And uh, yeah. Federal ministers came to this senior center to announce tougher sentences for elder abuse. Elder abuse is a serious issue, and we must do whatever we can to fight it. And today, we are continuing in those efforts by taking action. The legislation says that if a person is targeted because of their age or because of other personal circumstances like health or finances, that will be considered an aggravating factor when it comes to sentencing. What, what we're saying in the legislation today is that there's a difference. If you have two 25-year-olds uh, get into a fist fight with each other, it's not the same thing uh, as a 25-year-old going after an 80-year-old. And so what we're saying is uh, have a look at these circumstances. Are you seeing that people get away with this? It, a lot of the cases, the seniors are compromised, maybe cognitively impaired. So trying to get that person through the court system, it's difficult to negotiate. But this sends a strong message that it's not going to be tolerated any longer. I think what's important here is that there is a separate and added feature that requires the judge to pay attention to the sentencing. It'll take more than tougher sentences to ensure that more crimes involving elder abuse are reported, but the consensus is this is a good first step. In North York, I'm Libby Snymer for Zed News.